All right, welcome back to the channel. Eddie Hearns. Eddie Hearns has uh, Tyson Fury's promoter acting as if Eddie Hearn is trying to steal Tyson Fury's belt and get him another easy, no competition championship. <laughs> Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel, subscribers. Man, 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 my man, Deontay Wilder lost his championship belt, the WBC, uh, known as Sophia to Tyson Fury. And, you know, then boxing ended. And so there's no more fights for at least 12, right, man, at least like three months of no fights. So it's been, a, it's a long time, man. So, and it's going to be a long time to be able to get Deontay Wilder to be back uh, to be a champion again. And right now, it seems like Tyson Fury's the man. But <laughs> uh, Eddie Hearn seems, or, or Frank Warren believes, Eddie Hearn's got a scheme to get Dillian White that WBC belt. Let's talk about it. A little background first. Uh, Terrence, uh, excuse me, God, I've got Terrence Crawford on my mind. Uh, Tyson Fury is the WBC champion, but he is uh, has a significant chance of being under investigation for doing something that was very, very shady. OK, back in 2015, he tested positive for Nandrolone. After he tested positive for Nandrolone, he lost all. That's when he lost all his belts and all that. He also tested positive for some other stuff, some alcohol, cocaine, and different things on a series of tests. But it's a big hullabaloo back in 2015. Um, in order to get off of the Nandrolone, uh, the PED test, he per he presented an alibi to UK, the UK anti-doping, and that was that he had gotten. The he had eaten the some uncastrated wild boar meat. You cannot make these excuses up. Wild uncastrated wild boar meat, right? Boar, by the way, is an endangered species, so there are not very many. There's only like 500 of them all in the UK. So basically, he might as well have been saying that he ate a. Uh, that he ate an uncastrated unicorn and that and it was the unicorn crushed up uncastrated unicorn horn uh that had nandrolone in it and that's why it popped dirty right some nonsense that didn't nobody believe when he said it to begin with uh so it shouldn't shock anybody at all when uh tyson fury becomes a much bigger money type of situation that the a guy that got stiffed or is a, who is at least a legend that he got stiff would come back and say and admit yeah i lied to begin with right obviously lied to begin with as well okay so <laughs> This is not some glove. This is not the glove gate thing that you guys can just brush off and act like has no merits whatsoever. It has plenty merit to it. You didn't believe, nor did I believe ever that Ned, that, that Tyson Fury and Huey Fury got uh, Nagelone in their system because they hired somebody to go out and kill a wild boar and uh, that nonsense. So with the revelation that Martin Carefoot, that is the name of the farmer who had originally said that he had that he had sold uh, Tyson Fury, the uncastrated uh, the unicorn, <laughs> the uncastrated bull male unicorn uh, had sold him that meat. Once he re once he recanted. Now there should be more than likely should be not going to guarantee that there is going to be, but should be an investigation into Tyson Fury for obstructing that investigation, because really uh, he got off very, very lightly. He got off very, very likely light lightly in a compromise between UCAD and himself because UCAD did not believe that Bormeat story. Uh, but they were having a hard time approving it. Tyson Fury and those guys were, you know, coming back with lawyers and it was basically going to cost those guys a lot of money to get through it. But now with if they throw out the testimony of if they throw out the testimony of Martin Carefoot, now they're back in the mix if they decide that they want to go back and revisit the issue. If they go back and reissue the revisit uh, the issue, then Tyson Fury could. My understanding is I've just heard these numbers around 
you know, just take it with a grain of salt that he could be suspended for up to eight years. Now, seeing as Tyson Fury is about 30 years old, uh, eight years for him would basically be the end of his. It would actually be the, the end of his a career ending type of situation. I don't expect that to happen. I don't expect UCAB to step up and do anything. If you know anything about UCAD, at least the way that they've been behaving for the last couple of years, I, I don't believe that you would have any faith in that either. UCAD is famous for letting Dillian White um, off the hook, even though he tested positive leading into the fight. They accepted his explanation for why he had it in his system. Uh, once they accepted, once they accepted that, they just let him go ahead and fight. And it was just, it's ridiculous. Now, now actually though, the understanding how that first Tyson Fury, uh, situation goes. Now I could understand why, uh, you can might have said to Dillian white, like, yeah, whatever. Okay. You say, Oh, what, what was your explanation? A oh, wild unicorn. You ate the, you found some wild, uh, uncastrated unicorn too, huh? Okay. Well, Eddie Hearn has just as much money as, uh, Tyson Fury and those guys did to fight these court cases. So, all right, you have the explanation, go ahead and fight. You know, that's <laughs> that is because the two situations seem so similar to one another, right? Except for, uh, obviously, they accepted the ex the uh, BS ex explanation out of um out of Dillian White without the court battle. But so you know, maybe that had something to do. Maybe Tyson Fury and the situation with Tyson Fury and you can't had something to do with how they handled the Dillian White situation, which is why really I hope that they do something about it, man. Because this all this stuff, I really do want to believe that 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 boxing is somewhat fair, man. And it is really just, you know, discouraging to see how the WBC behaved with the computer all issue. It's really it's really upsetting to see, disappointed to see the Tyson that people are even acting as if they believe they they believe the bore nonsense to begin with and are somehow defending and saying things like like Teddy Atlas said, well, why should we even worry about it? It's so long ago, man, please. If you let this dude get away with that, then other people are going to try to get away with it. Other people are getting away with it. And it's just a matter of time before it's just a matter of time before somebody gets somebody dies up off of that again. But, you know, it's directly connected with some juiced up monster. Do we really have to get all the way to that point before somebody really does something about it? I think more than likely, um, uh, more than likely we did. But now Frank Warren, we do. I, uh, uh Unfortunately, we're going to wind up in being in a situation where that's going to happen. Now, as far as Frank Warren, though, Frank Warren says that he's going to he's blaming it. He's going to blame Eddie Hearn, like Eddie Hearn, by trying to push this uh, conversation, because what Eddie Hearn said was Eddie Hearn was like, hey, if if Tyson Fury's back under investigation and he gets suspended by UCAD, if I was Dillian White, I would consider myself the champion. Right. And so Frank Warren says in response to that, that, OK, this is just another scenario where Eddie Hearn is going to try to get uh, trying to get uh, uh, one of his fighters an easy belt. Like what happened with Anthony Joshua versus uh, Charles Martin, like Charles Martin got one of Tyson Fury's vacant belts and they felt like Charles Martin was a soft touch. So they got AJ a fight with Charles Martin. So instead of like the WBC route with Deontay Wilder, but got him one with Charles Martin so that he could have an easier victory and get a championship. And then, so that's what they're saying that maybe that's what he's trying to do with Dillian White. But here's the thing. It's not going to be that case for Dillian White. Dillian White is not going to be named the champion uh, because there's money to be made in a fight uh, between, uh, between Deontay Wilder and Dillian White uh, for uh, for the vacant belt regardless. So it's not as if Dillian White is going to be a shoe in and right there and get that belt. However, I don't think anybody really has anything uh, to worry about. What's going to happen is a Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury uh, three is going to happen. And that is because the UCAD ain't about to do anything. UCAD, I don't trust UCAD to do anything. The WBC, even if UCAD suspended him, WBC would probably still uh, name him champion emeritus or champion uh, or franchise champion. Or maybe they'll just be like, oh, you're the new you're the new Tyson Fury champion and just, you know, just cut straight to the cut straight to the chase like that. 
I have no faith whatsoever in in the WBC to handle this correct, handle that correctly. We got no faith in UCAD to do it either. Um, and more than likely, it's just going to be, you know, some dirt swept up underneath the rug, you know, more dirt swept underneath the rug because there's all kind of dirt already up underneath there. But I don't expect anything more than that. But if I was Eddie Hearn, why not try to give it a go? And it wouldn't be Eddie Hearn's fault. It would be Tyson Fury's fault, man. Ain't nobody tell well, I'm sure maybe somebody told Tyson Fury to get on Nangelone and use that terrible excuse for why he did it. But, you know, anyway, it is boxing. It's just we'll see how it pans out. Hopefully, honestly, I want to see the Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury uh, rematch. I want Deontay Wilder to have a chance to shine better in the third fight than he did in the first and the second and get his belts back. It's going to be tough for him to do. I ain't going to lie because I think Tyson Fury is a very, very good fighter. But hopefully we'll get to see. And you just let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.